You know, um, the Iranians have the, an Arabic saying that, that goes something like this. I hear what you say and I like it. I see what you do and I wonder. And he talks about human rights. He talks about uh, Iran being on the defense. Uh, we cannot defend ourselves, etc. That people have the wrong idea about us. But what are they doing in, in Lebanon? What are they doing in, in, in uh, Yemen? Even in Palestine? What are they doing in Syria? They are killing Arabs, basically. So they have to reform their conduct before people can accept them as positive players in the world. And he didn't really mention anything concrete about the attempts here in Europe to assassinate Iranians. His claim is that, do you think we're crazy to do that? Well, the proof is there. So they have to change their conduct. Taking a step back and thinking about some of the things that we've heard happening in, over the last couple of days here in Munich, a lot of conversations about the Transatlantic Alliance, about what's yeah. happening in China as well. What do you consider the greatest challenge to the global economy in 2019? Well, I hope people have to be careful about these trade wars. I think engagement and, and uh, open markets have been, always been the hallmark of particularly the Western world. And now to see that there are efforts to put restrictions on trade is not good for anybody. And for a, a small country like Saudi Arabia that is willing to open up and engage with the rest of the world and hoping to be a manufacturing um, country in the future, we want to be able to sell our goods without facing trade sanctions. And walk me through what's going to happen in your opinion with regards to nuclear energy. I just spoke with the Deputy Secretary of Energy yesterday. I was asking him whether or not the United States would be willing to allow Saudi Arabia to share technology if they don't sign the 123-123 agreement um, not to enrich uranium. He said there's no way the United States will accept that. If they do this, it's going to have to look like the UAE's agreement. What's your take? Well, the, the, the nuclear energy market is open. It is not just the United States that is providing nuclear technology. We have France, we have Russia, we have China, we have our friends in Pakistan, and in other places as well. So uh, if they want to remove themselves from that market, well, that's up to them.